The first rocket that we launched from the Cape was actually called Bumper. And it looked like a little V2 rocket from the Germans. And we launched it way out here on the Cape side. What you won't believe is back in the day, we had cameramen and the launch control center were just 500 feet from the launch pad. Safety has improved. When you launch a Saturn V or a space shuttle, you're three and a half miles away. Times have changed. The first American satellite was launched on a Jupiter C rocket way back in 1958, January 31st, I believe. Coincidentally, the family Robinson of Lost in Space was launched on the Jupiter 2 in 1968, but that's a different story. The ISS, how long has the ISS been in orbit? So that's kind of a touchy question. The first component was launched in 1998. However, it has been occupied by humans since October 30th of 2001. I know that because we should celebrate that day since that day there has not been a day in human history when there, not ha when there has not been at least two humans in Earth orbit. So it's an incredible, hopefully we'll continue that into the future forever. And the completed ISS has been up there since about 2010. So pick your answer, but we've been up there for a while now and I want to continue that. I don't ever want there to be another day in human history when there are not humans in Earth orbit at least. See, the Mercury astronaut that had the most impact on me would probably have to be John Glenn, uh, because John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth. He did that back in February 1962. But I met him in 1997, I believe it was, when he flew on the orbiter Discovery. And he was everything you would have expected him to be. He was gracious and smart. And he was also 77 years old. So that gives me encouragement, since I haven't been up in space yet, I've still got a good 20 years to go before I break that mark, so maybe I can still get up there. When do I think everyday people like you and me can go into space? Well, I wish I could look at my watch and tell you, hmm, in about, but it's not that simple. We have to go certify our commercial crew program rockets. That's our plan right now. Once we do that, SpaceX and Boeing are free to market that capability. Now, hopefully that'll happen in 2019. We'll go do that, and then, like I said, then they can start marketing it. So if I were you, I'd start getting my resumes in order right now, because it's coming.